Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rich Show, where we talk anything and everything crypto. Now, here's your host, D-Rich. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the D-Rich Show. This is D-Rich, and today is June 24th 2021 and it looks like it is a thursday folks here in sunny southern california so anyway um happy thursday guys i hope that this video finds you all in good health good spirits and good energy thank you guys for the uh warm wishes for the birthday yesterday and again here we are uh the second day in of being 46 so we're gonna be taking a another turn and looking at some other stuff and making sure that we're on pace to, you know, get those, <clears throat> hopefully those gems in front of us so that we can go ahead and explore them, investigate them, do a little research on them. And as I mentioned yesterday, we will be talking about Cello today, some of the connections and um, <clears throat> things like that. So, um, again, thank you guys for um, subscribing to the channel. And those who have already subscribed, once again, thank you guys for always making uh, it possible for me to come on and share uh, my insight, you know, from my perspective, and I really appreciate it because, uh, you know, it really uh, gives me the energy to come back every single day to put out a new video. So anyway, guys, if you guys are in uh, Quebec, I believe today is St. John Paul Deese Day. So um, whatever that means to your celebrations, um, happy celebrations on that. So anyway, let's get into the coin market cap. Um, but before I do, um, I was listening to the <clears throat> Global DeFi Summit. Some very good information, so I would suggest that you go uh, back into it. Um, I had to cut it off because it wouldn't allow me to um, do anything uh, when it comes to recording because I guess they don't want it to be recorded. Um, so my OBS was kind of acting up, so um, I had to shut it off where I'm not able to uh, view it at the moment. Um, but there was... Uh, <clears throat> Um, the DeFi dad um, and some other dudes, um, Santiago and um, some other gentlemen that were talking on the panel. Um, very good content um, talking about DeFi, um, talking about, you know, where it's at, where they think it's going um, and things like that. So I think that if you want to take a look back at that, kind of get that information, um, I would also recommend doing that. Um, anyway, Bitcoin's dominance is at 46.4%, Ethereum at 16.8%. As we see a global market cap of 1.37 uh, trillion, $34,055.65 for Bitcoin. And then we got Ethereum at 1986.44. Okay, and then as we bounce to the number four spot right over Tether, $307.01 as far as BNB is concerned. And then we got Cardano ADA at $1.38. Probably a bring Cardano up just briefly here. Um, in the video today, as we take a look at the World Economic Forum PDF that was uh, produced um, earlier this month. And then we got now Dogecoin at 24 cents, guys. So again, um, it's above that uh, trend line. You know, I didn't realize it would go down to 17, 16 cents, but you know what it did. And um, it's bouncing back relatively uh, quick. So we're in good shape. Okay. XRP, 66 cents there. So if you're Again, accumulating, here's a great um, opportunity for you to dollar cost average. And then rounding out the top 10, you got uh, USDC at 8. And number 9, you got Polkadot and Uniswap at number 10. So Polkadot is at $16.07. Uniswap is at $17.97. And then overall, guys, you can look at the market and kind of um, tell that uh, everything is trying to get back on the up and up. You know, I'm kind of confused on some of the things that's going on in the market myself. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we have to have focus and we have to have vision. And um, my vision is long term. And, um, you know, again, we're getting started. And one of the things that one of the gentlemen said that uh, was very important to me is that uh, if you have assets in your portfolio and they're just stable and they're not doing anything, you kind of want to make sure that you're moving that around. Um, trying to make some uh, moves for, you know, movement. 
Um, and then again, um, don't sell yourself short out of a position, trying to get into another position um, because you don't want to ruin yourself that way. And uh, I can kind of agree with that um, because obviously, you know, you want to try to get into different positions if you don't have, you know, new money uh, to get in those positions. So, you know, I always try to create new um, resources of income or different sources of income to um, apply to, you know, purchasing bags as far as that is concerned. So um, do your due diligence, do you do um, research and come to your own uh, discernment when it comes to investing. And again, on this channel, this is never financial advice. And most definitely, I'm not a financial advisor. I can only um, go with what has been working for me. And I try to share it and present it to you all so that, you know, if you want to copy and paste, you're more than welcome to do so. And again, if you want to copy and paste and take some of the information and source it out, I appreciate that too. So anyway, um, as I said, we're going to be talking about Cello. Cello right now is at uh, $2.42, up 11% in the last 24 hours since we last um, talked about um, talking about this on the video yesterday. So we'll get right into it a little bit to see where we're at. And I do believe um, I will take a, a position at this. <clears throat> I will take a position um, with this cryptocurrency, um, most definitely. Cello price live data actually, you know, it's at two dollars forty cents um, within the last twenty-four hour trading value, and you got Cello um, is up seven point six three percent as well as the last twenty-four hours. But you know, we'll go back up there and take it right there and take it eleven percent. Um, so <clears throat> again, um, it looks like it was, you know, a high of you know four, five, six dollars there, um, May sixteenth. Okay, so you know you got, you know, some higher price range in the six dollar range. So again, um, it's not at an all time high. So a great buying opportunity to um, hopefully double quadruple your money, especially if you are um, in a position to hold long term. The live sell price today again is two dollars forty cents. Let's go ahead and pass that. And what is Cello? Cello is a blockchain ecosystem focused on increasing cryptocurrency adoption among smartphone users. And by using phone numbers as public keys, Cello hopes to induce the world uh, billions of smartphone owners, including those without banking access, to transacting in cryptocurrency. The network also allows for the creation of smart contracts and decentralized applications, which are dApps, as part of the decentralized finance. And its main net was launched in April 20th of 2020. And the platform has two native tokens. Cello is a proof of stake token used for transaction fees, governance, participation, and related activities. And in the future, the platform aims to host various stable coins with one, the Cello dollar, which is the CUSD, which is already in use. And here you can read about who the founders of Cello are. And then you can also read here what makes Cello unique. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what they got. Cello's main unique selling point lies in its focus on smartphone users. And the company argues that the number of smartphone owners are increasing exponentially, and but the number of the people using cryptocurrency is also rising at a much slower pace. Cryptocurrency is further highly suited to regions in which a large section of the population does not have access to the banking sector, but still has a smartphone. <clears throat> And bridging the gap between the two technologies is what Cello aims to do, along with harnessing the benefits of DeFi by supporting the creation of dApps and smart contracts. Optimized for mobile, the Cello blockchain automatically calculates transaction fees and also allows users to, to pay the gas fees with power transactions in any currency. So here's some related pages, okay, um, regards to that. And then here we want to learn about how many Cello coins are there in circulation. Cello and CUSD perform compl complementary functions within the Cello platform. Cello has a cap supply of 1 billion tokens, of which 600 million were available when the mainnet launched in April 20, 2020, and the last 40% of the supply will be released gradually via the fees and rewards and various vesting sectors are in place depending on how initial investors receive their tokens. And in addition to that, up to 120 million cello will go towards a reserve design 
to maintain the validity and price stability of the CUSD. And as a stable coin, CUSD is envisioned as a convenient payment method for cello users who will not have to worry about their holdings fluctuating in value. So here you go. You can read a little bit about how the cello network is secured. And here are a few places where you can buy cello tokens as well. So again, I like to use Hotbit and KuCoin. Um, those are some of my other favorite platforms um, that we like to read. And again, it's at $2.43, so it bumped up another percent, another penny, um, since we started talking about that. So anyway, folks, I remember, um, I hope you remember me posting this um, in the descriptions. We kind of went over it um, before. And one thing that I wanted to most definitely um, get to is page 16 here. Okay, which is the throughput and scalability. Okay, and I'll read that real quick here for you. Um, scalability is a comparative term within blockchain technology, most notably for assessing throughput. Throughput approximates the number of transactions that can be processed per second. However, with many new and innovative blockchain technologies and underlying protocols, through throughput is just one factor to consider in assessing the overall scalability of a network and the following outlines the throughput of various networks and also provides resources for learning more about their scalability features. So we talked about um, Algorand and, and here we go, we got Celo <clears throat> um, that popped up on this. So um, if these folks um, at the WEF are putting this in their information spreadsheet, um, I think that we have to lend a little credibility to it. Celo is a mobile first open source proof of stake blockchain network and their tech stack um, and suite of financial tools are designed for smartphone users to send, receive and store money. And Celo has a ledger close time of approximately five seconds with a thousand transactions per second. And the following resources are also available to learn more about scalability on Celo. So um, we're going to go to their website and then I'm going to open up this GitHub um, file for you to kind of go over and kind of give you a little bit more information. But what I wanted to point out here, um, I told you I would say something shortly about Cardano. Um, you can look at Algorand, um, a thousand um, TPS um, right there. Okay. And then you also got 1500 TPS on XRPL. And then you can look at uh, Celo, which is also a thousand uh, TPS, right? And TPS is transactions per second. And then you can even go to um, Solana, which um, we've probably will talk about at some point. And then you could go to Stellar. Um, again, you got uh, a thousand um, operations per ledger. Okay, so pretty much a thousand um, transactions per second. And then you go take a look at um, Cardano. It allows um, for only 257 transactions per second. So that's not moving too fast, folks. If you are going from 1,000 to 257, it doesn't look too good for you. Okay, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, there's other smart contract chains. Um, Cardano, if you are um, into it. Um, again, I got out of that position uh, at the top. And I don't know if I'm going to ever go back into Cardano because there's other projects um, that I really... Um, resonate with more so than Cardano. It's just those things that you actually attract to, um, which gets you involved um, in the cryptocurrencies. And Celo is one of those. So again, let's go to their website and that is at Celo.org. And this is all about, um, they're all about prosperity for all, okay? And what if money were beautiful, okay? I don't know what country you come from um, here in the United States. Um, you know, we we have it. We have it good. And a lot of people really um, think we have it bad. So I can just imagine um, in other countries where, you know, they don't have it so good and, you know, they're content. Um, they're happy individuals. They're, you know, able to you know live in um, certain environments um, that um, we're not used to here in the United States. And, you know, for me being American, um, you know, shame on us for you know, being overprivileged. Okay. So, you know, I got to apologize for other folks um, because a lot of folks have um, lost their way of not learning to uh, be 
thankful, grateful, and appreciative. So um, I got to say that. Okay, Cello, their mission <clears throat> is to build a financial system that creates the conditions for prosperity for everyone. Cello Foundation believes in a future where everyone can prosper. The Cello Foundation is a nonprofit organization based in the United States that supports the growth and development of the open source Cello pro uh, platform. Guided by the Cello community tenants, the foundation contributors um, to education, technical research, environmental health, community engagement, and ecosystem outreach, and activities that support and encourage an inclusive financial system that creates the conditions for prosperity for everyone. So folks, I'm already sold right here. I don't probably have to go too much further into it because when you are wanting all of humanity to be prosperous and um, you know things like that, um, you sold me um, on that idea. <clears throat> okay, cello, pronounced cello, okay, means purpose in Esperanto and the spirit of Esperanto and auxiliary languages is to equip speakers with a means to connect, engage, and build trust with someone who speaks a different native tongue. And in a similar spirit, we are aiming to create a new platform to connect people globally and bring financial stability to those who need it the most. And we believe blockchain technology is one of the most exciting innovations in recent history and as a team, we look to push the boundaries of what is possible with it today. And more importantly, we are driven by purpose to solve real world problems such as a lack of access to sound currency, sound currency, okay, or friction for cash transfer programs aimed to alleviate poverty. So folks, I mean, again, um, I'm all about this, um, you know, trying to reduce poverty, um, you know, helping folks um, that are unfortunate out and um, you know what I'm all about it okay you got some values here cello is founded on two core values they have a unique purpose and connectedness and these in turn lead to practices that foster personal growth and community and their unique purpose we believe that everyone has their own unique path and growth and that personal fulfillment depends in large part of being able to reach one's potential along that path and we embrace values that enable people to grow towards their full potential okay and then you got the connectedness here and we believe here at cello the people live primarily in connection to one another and we also recognize that individuals are healthier and happier when they are members of a strong social community with meaningful relationships that is when they are living within a healthy and happy whole and we embrace values that strengthen community. So, folks, a lot of these things I've known you uh, to talk about here on the channel. Um, they, they're literally, you know, speaking my mindset. And, um, you know, um, I want everybody, to, again, to be healthy, happy. And this is why I always start the videos off, that the videos should reach you in good health, good spirits, and good energy. And uh, you know what? Hopefully that resonates with all of you as well. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Okay, and then how do we change the world? Change the story. And this is uh, from Charles Eisenstein. Okay, you just got to change the story a little bit. Okay, you got some sacred economics. Cello's philosophy is grounded in the work of Charles Eisenstein's sacred economics, and you can learn more right there. And then you also have the theory of change. A theory of change is a framework that describes how short term actions will lead to long term social impact. Cello's aim is to create the conditions for prosperity, defined as people fulfilling basic needs, growing along their own unique paths, and supporting each other. All of Cello's projects have a specific hypothesis that tie our activities to one or more of these indicators of prosperity. You can learn a little bit more about the theory of change there. And then you also have the contributors uh, to Cello from around the world which is their collective experience that range from public and private sector, technology, nonprofit, and NGO. So you got, <clears throat> you got Adoran, Jose, Crystal, you got these other folks down here. Um, check them out. You know, I'm pretty sure these are some brilliant folks that got a lot of information um, in their, um, you know, in their books, in their mental lexicon. So um, I'm pretty sure um, we can learn from them. And if these folks are anything like me, um, you know, they, they bring value 
uh, to humanity, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for a group of folks that we can, uh, you know, get along with that has some of the same, you know, not, I don't want to say ideology, but some of the same, you know, principles, some of the same values with integrity, honesty, transparency, um, truth. So that's what we're looking for when it comes to um, investing in some of these projects. So um, that's just me. <clears throat> I can't tell you what to do, but um, if you're listening to me on this channel, I'm pretty sure um, you got a lot of uh, good spirits and energy about yourself as well. So um, thank you so much. Okay, so you got the rest of these folks. There's a lot of contributors um, on the network here. You know, I can't go through all of them. Okay, but, uh, you know, most definitely you want to be about that. So let's see what else they got on the network here on their on their web page. I mean, they got a lot of contributors. And you know what? So it's a good thing, okay? So you got early backers, seller or supported over 80 companies and individuals including prominent venture funds, C-level operators, academics, and experts across a wide range of fields including in no particular order. So you got some of these folks here, Coinbase, um, JD here, not a fan of his, but uh, whatever. Um, <clears throat> then you have um, some of these other folks here, here as well, okay? And then uh, you got the press and the media, and most definitely you want to go check the rest of their stuff out here on their website. You can look at their validators, developers, their alliance, as well as the community and their blog here so we're going to go into github okay and um, this is one of the um, links that was in the world economic forum pdf i don't know what any of all of this stuff is if you guys know um, you can let me know um, this is like a bunch of different stuff that i can't really recognize i'm not familiar with all the coding and language and stuff like that so forgive me for that um, there's people that specialize in that and that surely is not my specialty. Okay, so you got um, Celo Mono Repo, official repository for core projects comprising the Celo platform. And this repository contains the source code for the Celo core projects, including the smart contracts, wallet app, and other packages. And the source code for the Celo blockchain, which operates a node on the Celo network, is kept in a separate repo here. So you can check all that out there. Okay. And then again, Cello's mission, again, is prosperity for all. Cello pronounced Tezo, or Cello, uh, means purpose in Esperanto. And in a similar spirit, <clears throat> we are aiming to create a new platform to connect people globally and bring financial stability to those who need it the most. And that they also believe that blockchain technology is one of the most exciting innovation in recent history. And as a community, we look to push the boundaries of what is possible with it today. And more importantly, we are driven by purpose to solve real world problems such as a lack of access to sound currency or friction for cash transfer programs aim at aim to alleviate poverty. And their mission is also to build a monetary system that creates the conditions for prosperity for all. OK, so you got the cello stack, cello is oriented around providing the simplest possible experience for end users who may have no familiarity with cryptocurrencies and may be using low-cost devices with limited connectivity to achieve this the project takes on a full stack approach where each layer of the stack is designed with the end user in mind whilst considering the stakeholders eg operators of nodes in the network involved in enabling the end user experience and here's what the cello stack is uh, structured by. And then you can look at the logical layers. You got the applications, you got cello core contracts, and the cello blockchain. Okay, so the cello blockchain, which is an open cryptographic protocol that allows applications to make transactions with and run smart contracts in a secure and decentralized fashion. And the cello blockchain has shared ancestry with Ethereum and maintains full EVM capability or compatibility for smart contracts. However, it uses a Byzantine fault tolerant consistent mechanism rather than proof of work and has different block format, transaction format, client synchronization protocols, as well as gas payment and pricing mechanisms. 
The network native asset is Celo Gold exposed via an ERC20 interface. And then you also have the Celo Core contracts, which is a set of smart contracts running on the Celo blockchain that comprise much of the logic of the platform featuring, including ERC20 stable currencies, identity, assetations, proof of stake, and governance. These uh, smart contracts are upgradable and managed by the decentralized government process. So again, bison time fault tolerance. I mean, I don't know how many times that's going to come across our face before we realize that whatever this is, XRP, XLM, you name it, um, are all on um, using that. Okay. So here you go. You can look at this. You got the applications, applications for end users built on a, a seller platform, the seller wallet, which is the first of an ecosystem of applications that allow end users to manage accounts and make payments securely and simply by taking advantage of the innovations in the seller protocol and applications take the form of external mobile or back end software which they interact with the Celo blockchain to issue transactions and invoke code that forms the Celo core contracts API. Third parties can also deploy custom smart contracts that their own applications can invoke, which also in turn can leverage Celo core contracts applications. Also may be centralized cloud services to provide some of their functionality. And in the case of the Celo wallet, push notifications and transactions. Uh, transaction activity feed so here you go you got the repo structure talking a little bit about that um, and some you know you got some definitions that you might want to read and then you got some contributing um, factors here as well and then you're going to ask any questions find answers as well as get in touch so if you want to learn about Marcelo I'll leave this in the description kind of go all over this stuff um, I'll click on it to see what some of this stuff is and if it's reportable, then I'll, I'll make sure that you go back and take a peek at it yourself. So anyway, um, let's move forward here with some more information <clears throat> and some of the um, connections. Okay, and this is coming from use the Bitcoin.com. All right, and this is <clears throat> an article that um, Carlos had wrote and uh, Stellar Compound and Celo signed partnership with Gauntlet to work on the blockchain projects. So in a roundabout way, Celo is um, <clears throat> dealing with XLM um, somehow, some way. Stellar XLM, Celo, and Compound have signed a partnership with Gauntlet in order to leverage blockchain technology and work on different projects. The information was released by Gauntlet in a recently released blog post. So the blog post will be next. And then here you go. You got the Stellar Gauntlet partnership, what that's about. Okay, again, working with the Byzantine Fault Tolerant Protocol. Stellar allows for clients to process fast transactions with very low fees. And with Stellar, Gauntlets uh, is expected to identify how it is possible to improve quorum selection on the network and ensure safety and liveness as are always upheld. So let's go ahead and get past that. You got Compound. Okay, so that's another one I don't have in the portfolio. Maybe we'll look at that at some point. Okay, but anyway, our main focus right now is Celo Gauntlet Partnership. Celo, a company that is currently working on building an open platform for making financial tools accessible to anyone, is also using the Gauntlet platform to help model their stability mechanisms. This mechanism uses arbitrage, arbitrage, arbit to create stability when the coin experiences high volatility and in this way it is possible to improve the coin stability during the market changes and the report explains gauntlet is also creating agent models of the arbitrators and running their contracts on their simulation environment and this would help the company find the most successful uh, parameterization of the protocol so here's that. I mean, that's a partnership that um, should be recognized, especially when you have um, XLM Stellar um, attached to it. So here is the um, blog from Medium.com um, from the um, October 24th, 2019. And this is from uh, John Murrow. Okay, so you want to read that and how that works out. 
Okay, you got Cello down there. Cello is building an open platform. Again, that makes financial tools accessible to anyone with a mobile phone. Okay, so here you go. You can read all of that and the rest of that information. It's just a little bit more from, you know, what we were just previously reading on um, this from the use, uh, the Bitcoin.com article. So anyway, um, this is coming from CryptoNewsBitcoin.org. And I wanted to look at this. A 16Z backs DeFi payments platform. Excuse me. Thank you. Platform sells 20 million raise, and this was February 12, 2021. Okay, Cello, a decentralized fund protocol, has closed a $20 million fund raise from buyers together with Andreessen Horowitz. Okay, Greenfield One and Electrical Capital. Okay, and I'll just leave it there. You can read the rest of this information. Okay, but um, Andreessen Horowitz. Okay, it sounds familiar, right? So let's go back and check it out. Andreza Horowitz looking to raise one billion for a crypto VC fund, venture capitalist fund. This was um, published on April 30th, 2021. Okay, and updated May 1st, 2021. Andreessen Horowitz, one of the largest venture capital firms, is looking to raise one billion for a crypto VC fund that would uh, invest in different cryptocurrencies and growing crypto startups and issue shares for institutional investors to gain exposure to largely popular crypto assets. And the decision comes on the heel of its successful, successful crypto investment in the form of Coinbase, the $85 billion cryptocurrency exchange that made its debut a couple weeks back on the NASDAQ. The planned $1 billion crypto VC fund with company third crypto venture after its investment in Coinbase and Ripple, okay? Ripple, okay? The current investment is in the fund would also make it the highest crypto fund investing among venture capitalist firms and the company's share in Coinbase. Um, at its debut was $11.2 billion, out of which the firm sold $120 million worth of stake. Many other Wall Street giants have gained exposure in cryptocurrencies through their investment in Fortune 500 companies such as Michael Strategy, as well as Tesla, who own Bitcoin on their balance sheet. So you can read a little bit more about that if you want. But again, Andreessen Horowitz, investor in Ripple, um, I believe he was part of uh, them back in the day with the open coin um, situation. So, you know, um, this guy is all over the place. And if he's investing in Cello, then, you know, he's putting his money um, in, in a, in a p position where um, he's going to get a return. So I'll leave all of this in the description. You can go ahead and, um, you know, sc scrape out the surface and find some more information um, in regarding, um, you know, Andres and Hor Horowitz, as well as uh, some of the other uh, VC folks. So since, uh, you know, we got this on the screen, my buddy um, my McAfee um, supposedly did something to himself, which I'm going to tell you that I doubt. Um, I think the guy is still living somewhere. Okay, that's just me. Um, it sounds ludicrous, but, or kind of like a loony bin. Um, but him or Epstein didn't kill themselves, so we'll leave it at that, all right? But uh, he does have some, um, you know, um, uh dead men switch so if anything did happen to him a lot of information would be released and i'm not sure um if we want to see that information but i'm kind of wanting to see all of the dirty information because i'm pretty sure he has um information on uh, the creator of um, bitcoin and things like that i do believe he did put out a um tweet um i don't know how long ago but i'm gonna read it to you okay if you guys follow me on twitter i did ask this question um, by what he had posted. I don't know how, again, I don't know how long ago this was, and this is what he had said back in the day. Satoshi is and always has been the only person it ever could be at Joel Katz. The time is now. So, um, again, you know, I guess that's only speculation. 
but I'm pretty sure this guy knows um, a lot when it deals coming to deal with software, um, things like that. So um, I'll leave that there. So anyway, um, this is coming from PlentyDefi.com. It's one of the uh, websites that they were promoting on the Global DeFi. So I just want to um, touch bases on it briefly, kind of put it out there for you, um, just to see what you know it comes of. You know, I'll look at it a little bit more, but you know, some of the things that they were talking about um, were very, very interesting because um, when it talks about the total value locked, say for instance, um, let's just go back to the last bull run in 2017, early 2018, um, and a lot of these cryptocurrencies were um, blowing up out of nowhere as far as price is concerned. Um, do you not think? for one minute that they locked in some value okay when it came to um all-time high so that they can continue to work on the projects so again for folks that don't recognize that you know um i'll let them you know recognize it at some point but i'm pretty sure if you know again even as investors we lock in value or lock in profit especially if we know that it might be some sort of retracement okay so if that's the case, we have to um, we have to lock it down. We have to make sure that we preserve our wealth, okay? Because I mean, at the end of the day, unfortunately, again, the market has been very crappy over the last couple of weeks. So we really have no control over it. But what we do have control over is the simple fact that when it does um, materialize and there's profit to be had and taken, okay, we want to make sure that we 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 lock in that value okay because we don't want to give it back you know for me to look at my portfolio again i think i would be sick um, because of all the value that i did not lock in okay so that's what that means and then also they were talking about lunarcrush.com and i don't know too much about any of this stuff but i will be looking into it um and stuff like that so this is lunarcrush.com and you can kind of go check it out. So I wanted to make sure I leave it uh, for you guys to uh, take a peek at based on, you know, some of the information that was coming from the Global uh, DeFi Summit. And then finally, um, this was um, from DeFi Dad, I guess his name was. And then uh, this is Zapper, Manager DeFi Assets and Liabilities in One Simple Interface. D again, I don't know too much about it, so um, just thought I'd throw it out there based on uh, some of the things that I was hearing uh, during the brief summit before I got on the video. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed um, the presentation about Cello. Um, I do believe um, it will be something that we will um, take a, a good position in because of, you know, um, what they are planning on doing for a real world case use, um, trying to help people out, humanity, and help them evolve um, through you know, decentralized finance and being able to use their cell phones um, to transact uh, from different parts of the earth that might not necessarily have like a banking system or structure like here in the United States where, you know, there's, yeah, there's some difficulties with the banking systems, um, but yet, you know, there's some sort of resemblance of uh, stability where, you know, it's not all bad. Okay, but, you know, once we continue to transition and move out of these traditional markets, um, I think that uh, we'll have the responsibility um, that's placed on us as individuals uh, to learn um, this information. Um, so it's important for us to continue to try to teach one another, learn from one another, grow with one another. And that means, you know, talking to your family, talking to your friends. Um, your close associates and things like that. Sometimes they might laugh at you and say that you're crazy. But again, um, what these guys um, said on the video, I'm going to say it, that once you see it, you will not be able to unsee it. You'll never go back to your traditional markets. And again, you're going to find time to research. Um, even in the bear market, you're going to find research and you're going to find gems. And um, we're looking for those. And hopefully we've covered some. Cello, H bar, Holo Chain, those. Um, we're looking for um, maximum opportunity, maximum return um, with those investments. And again, um, you got to stay the course, got to stay diligent um, in the pursuit um, with perseverance and patience because it's a long term goal. 
okay? Sometimes people can't wait. People want to get rich quick. I'm not going to promote that. I do not promote that on this channel as far as trying to get rich quick. Um, because if you want to get rich quick at something, um, there's other folks that probably have, you know, insight to doing that. But here, um, it's all about patience and perseverance and trying to get to the end result, um, which is long term. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your Thursday. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the rumble button. And if you don't mind, please uh, share it on your favorite platform so others um, can hear about some of these uh, wonderful projects that we kind of need to take a little deeper dive into and possibly add it to our portfolio, especially especially if um, it works and evolves around um, people and humanity. So anyway, God bless, take care, and as always, treat everyone with class, dignity, and respect. Bye-bye.